Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beard. So today we're watching Arcane. Oh, so today we're jumping back into Arcane Season 1, Episode 5. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Ooh. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Oh. Sniper. Oh. Probably drink. Right. Probably not, right? She's, she's more underground. Oh, it is. Or is it no, Kate? No, it's Kate. Yo. She's just as good. Mom? No. Oh. What's his face still still around then? Ah, oh, right, and then Kerman. Right. That was quite some shooting, Kerman. Did my parents pay you to let me win? Mm. That's a serious accusation. <laughs> no, your parents didn't pay me. I just thought you deserved it. Ah. Wow. Begs the question, young Kerman. What are you shooting for? Interesting question. What do you want? Out of Ooh. 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 All your crimes. What are you here for? My sunny personality. You attacked an inmate. Why? Okay, this is getting old. Can you just send in whoever's gonna kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? <sighs> Sophia's wow. been sending people to beat her. This is still drying. Where did you get this? My question first. You work for Silco? Uh, they all do. How can anyone not know that? Where did you find this? I could get it for you. Just not from in here. Wow. <laughs> in what mad world would I trust someone like you? Do you know what? She's actually yourself. the other way around. Thank you. A fancy girl in the. Thunder said he's gonna uniform. eat you alive. You, uh, you want us to have a chat with her? No. No. <laughs> it's for her release. How many chats have you had with her? You know, I never even thought to count. Okay, come back. Thank oh. you. Um, these brave General. enforcers sacrificed their lives to defend the values of our great city. Murder like. To some, they are mothers. Jinx is crazy. Jinx is crazy. Daughters. But to all, they are heroes. Who That's was so this, Daddy? Good woman. She pushed it too far this time. The council's up in arms. I can't make this go away for you unless you give me something to work with. The firelights have been a thorn in both our sides. They ambushed my shipment at the hex gates on the same day as the attack. It seems to me the council has its culprit. Oof. We've accomplished a lot together, Marcus. Sheriff. And there is more yet to achieve. I hope you can remain a part of it. Guy smoking in your face, bro. He always respects you. <laughs> oh, that was a crazy gosh. animated transition. The hex game. Sick. Back months. Soon we can do everything. Soon there are people who need our help now, Jace. Yeah, but Victor, I feel like you have a second You want to agenda. see me? Have your people ever reviewed these logs? <coughs> they call themselves violence. Oh no. Oh shit. Victor, you alright? Uh, a headache. I just. I need to get to the lab. Wow. Super boring. Is she hanging upside down? Yeah. Like a real back. Here we go. It's all about these rooms. Nah, she figured it out. Well, alright, we'll see about that. Oh, 
Oh my god. PTSD. No. No, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Too risky. She's used to the underworld. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That's how she gets around. <laughs> Why to run into freedom? That's what freedom feels like. Wow! What a leap. What a jump! Oh my god. The Vi tattoo is sick though. Mm -hmm. Is that the bar? Yeah, man. That's your spot. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. You almost got killed. <laughs> nice jacket. She said. She was seven. All us fisher folk can. Don't you want to blend in? <laughs> kind of rules exclusive, yeah. Yo, that looks sick. You had a vision? What if we've been looking at it backwards? We've been trying to I discover mean. runes that invoke specific effects. You think Hextech can learn? Like AI. Are you sure this is safe? Of course not. All that people. My God. Oh, Jericho, have I missed these? Unbelievable. But I didn't break you out of jail to eat slop. I knew this was a terrible idea. You didn't actually know anything, do you? Wow. Yep. I haven't been here in years since my parents brought me for the Winterfest. We're not here for the performance. Your house is in trouble. Counselors Hoskell and Sella? Don't they hate each other? Mm. But they share a taste for the fine and Noxian spirits. Technically an illegal import. There are those who covet your power over the wealth the Hexgates afford and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy, Jace. Wow. Where is she? Where is she, babe? She looks like Harley Quinn, man. It's crazy. Uh. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's that sick. Yeah. Ooh, the transition is sick. is sick. My, these guys are really putting on the show. <laughs> what time of day? <laughs> no one's asking you to. These are simply favors amongst friends. Amongst friends. I had quite a shock this morning. Enforcers banging on my door. I hope you'll understand. Jace had to make a show of safety. The man's a fool. With him, you'd be investing in the past. With us, you'd be investing in the future. In fact, we're currently looking for new partners in our Hextech research. And as a supporter of House Talus, you'd be the first in line to any of our advancements. Get that guap. Hextech partners. Has a nice ring, doesn't it? It does. It does, actually. Your audience awaits, counselor. You're becoming more and more of a politician. Wow. One place all the secrets are spilled. The brothel? It's moon night. If you really want people to talk to you, you have to let them think you have what they want. Wow. So 
Come back and come to So what'll it be? Matilda. My parents named me Matilda after my great grandmother Matilda. What's that accent? It's only a matter of time before he finds the truth. What is truth but a survivor's story? If I'm discovered, wow. we're both finished. Good thing you've located proof of the firelight's involvement. Babe. <gasps> you couldn't take it no more? Then what are you waiting for? Uh. Just stay. By the looks of it, no one down here lifted a finger to stop Silco. A few tried. But Silco's got the muscle and the money. I have you. Delirious. It's nothing. <laughs> See, Aqua made it quick. Quickly. My father put hammers in the hands of the people and they built this magnificent city. Imagine the wonders Obviously. they could create if we put the magic in their hands. The world will never be the same. Sick. We're not often in the position to give anything back. Mm. I couldn't have done it without you. Teacher. I saw this coming like episodes ago. Uh oh, here we go. I saw a ring inside. It's beautiful. I can't figure out why it's not working. I thought we could walk together. Mm. Probably going to sleep here tonight. Again? Good night, Miss Young. Miss Young is right. Too young for you. <laughs> right again. Hey, Victor's gonna become one mortal. It needed a human sacrifice. Uh -uh, she dripping the sheep. <laughs> Betray. That pain that feels like it'll eat you from the inside out. In life. Can either break you or forge you into something greater. Hmm. You. That was not proper. Jace, Victor, the doctors, um, they said you. How much time do I have? Oof, what a knee. Wow, that's very right good. Mazda. Who? Vander had his chance. <gasps> Oh shit, she microdose herself. Oh, oh. 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 Bro, oh, you can go over. Her. I see wow. you patience. No. Fuck. Who Albuquerque was nasty. We know she loves the punch. Oh, oh. Superman. Yeah. You're looking, wow. you're looking kind of tired, girl. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh wow. shit. Where's my sister? Where is he keeping her? She's not keeping her. She She's part of the family. Him. No. No, she stabbed her. I'll give her your regards. Somebody's gonna stop this. Please, somebody stop this. Where's Kate? Thank the Lord. 
sharpshooter. Kate. Why did you let her go? Do you ever say thank you? He's All right. We're here now. Oh! oh! And I saw that weaponry on her oh. back. I wasn't sure Ooh. what it was. But you're so sweet. Like a cupcake. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. On my floor, she, <gasps> she did it. You're getting fucking close. This is closer than fucking thing. She's back. From the dead. Oh my god. So they didn't know that she made it out of the explosion? I guess not. They all went, they went their separate ways, right? Oh my god. Oh my, this reunion is going to be a shocker. I don't know if... <sighs> Powder or Jinx. Which one is it? Uh, it's Jinx now. I mean, she has to let Powder die to become Jinx. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... And that's the thing. It's it's the derivative, even the derivative of the name, because of the fact that you were the Jinx at every job they went to, and they just kept referring to you as Jinx. That it's kind of stuck. You stuck, know what I'm saying? Right. But now the thing is, what's what is funny about that is that now she is their Jinx because she's the, she's going against them. You know what I'm saying? Yo, and she's like that's it. We always thought that she was cool, dope with the tech because even when they were in the arcade back in the day, she was reviving all the old machines. You know what I'm saying? And then she was also obviously a sharpshooter. She was one of the only ones that was able to hit all the targets of the machine that she put back together. Now we see she can box a little bit and she, right away with the electronics, she was able to fucking get that shit up and running. Wow. And now she, she figured out the fucking hex tech, babe. Oh my God. It's like she took every attribute of every single one of her friends and leveled up. Hmm. That's crazy. We haven't seen her pick no locks yet. Like, like Milo. But yo, she f she's figuring this thing out. I wonder what happened in in Victor's lab though with that that drop of blood. It looks like it activated something. Like I wonder if, like just as a, a foreshadowing, I thought that maybe because of the fact that Victor's blood mixed with the thing, that let's say like because it's it's a transport thing, like it speeds up time or slows down time or whatever it is that it does, right? Like okay. It's, it's, like we see, it's a quick transport. I was wondering if it was going to be Victor that went back in time and handed handed Jace the stone in the first place, the 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 guy who saved him and his mother. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. I'd be like, yo, wouldn't it be crazy if? It was Vic who goes back in time, and, and that's actually, why he's so you know. Sick and stuff, imagine. But he's the been thing doing is, it like, it's much. crazy. <laughs> like, he, like, and the thing is, also, what, what, it would, what would it be a uh, great would be if he could go back, or if he could also speed up the uh, the process of finding him a, a cure. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Because even when even when he came upon Jace the first time, and he, he said wanted to, something. even when he came upon Jace the first time, and he said, um, and he was talking about. Um, none of your research being authorized. He was there with the dark, um, he was there with the, uh, the deep Grayson, the okay. deep voice police officer. And he's like, none of this thing has been, none of this has been authorized. But then he's looking it over and he's like, but you know, it could be interesting with the, 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 the little push, you know, he, 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 he endorsed him, but he wanted to remain behind the scenes. And then I also thought it was interesting on Progress Day when he told him to come up on stage with him to, to announce the speech of the technology they're working on together. He's like, no, no, not in front of all of it's them. You true, know what I'm saying? Like he so, doesn't want to be seen. Hmm. So, I, you know, he plays the background and it would kind of symbolize him being the hooded figure that gives Jace the thing. But that was just me extrapolating on a thought that I originally created myself. But the, the just the scenario, like, I love how Vi is like... She's jacked now. Like, she's not huge, but, like, you could tell she's Her all grown. Arms. Yeah. And the fights are so sad. They're so technically skilled, but savage. The animation transitions from the puff of smoke to the hex gate where to when did thing did the move with the hex gate to when the, the thing the of, of Milo yeah. flipped to the sign of the last drop. Like, they're, they're killing it. And the, story, and the story writing supports every moment of the visual euphoria that you see in front of you you know like it's 
and the the way they the way they like like they didn't shatter it but like the way that powders or jinx's psyche is so like scatterbrain like mm. she she's always like she, she like nobody heals. nobody can 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 intimidate her like she came up on the firelights she was oh hi guys how you doing and then you know she just kind of laughed it off she ex- she blew up the the enforcers and then when Caitlyn caught her looking, when Caitlyn looked off into the smoke and she saw her, she was just like, ah, and then she walked away. Then when Silco came up to her and said, yo, do you know what you've done? And she said, ah, I know. Yes, I do. You know, like she could care less. Like how she killed she, that crow for no reason. She could care less. Mm-hmm. I mean, of course, obviously a lesser mortality. That's why I was using the example I of know, human know. lives. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, the... Uh, the point of what I'm saying is like nobody like there there's there's no there's no intimidation because it's almost like she's not in this reality. The people that she killed are the police officers that would put her away, and the man that she works for is a man that can kill people and put them away. He can either feed feed you into the tank or get Deckard and the crew after you. You know what I'm saying? So he has that kind of power, but it's irrelevant to her in her universe. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost like she's uh like. Not not schizophrenic, but like it, it it is it is kind of schizophrenic because it, there's a separation between Powder, the child with all the friends, and, and Jinx, Jinx. You know the the, the evil society. mastermind. The, she's basically the the tinkerer from Marvel. You know what I'm right. saying? She's the evil mastermind creating all the fucking amazing tools. And then she also has the like Batman aspect where she was she has the bats that were in the that are kind of in the turbine so whenever they blow up bombs you see them flying up and then how she started this episode she was hanging upside upside down down. you know what i'm saying so like it's crazy all the parallels they put between her and 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 um her and vi and the way the different situations that they came up in what i was also interested that caitlin said was that i have no records of your crimes or how you got into here you know what i'm saying so i would that i thought that was curious and oh, so that makes perfect sense now, right? You're because Silco runs the enforcers. He just had Jinx arrested exactly. for no reason and kept in the jail. And then whenever oh, she had Vi locked up and put in the jail, and whenever Vi acts up, they would go and have a chat with her. A beating. Wow. A beat down. Well, we don't know who's getting the beating, really. Because she fucked up by that prisoner. <laughs> now, I wonder what the... I wonder... Like if the Madar- if uh, Madarda there is thinks that her no probably it's probably too early to say that but like the fact that she when she woke up by herself like it was kind of it kind of led to me to believe that maybe she thought that okay maybe Jace was down for a one but maybe he doesn't want to commit or something because she she said from two or three episodes ago the only person that's even interesting enough to be with is this guy you know what I'm saying and then we saw when she they walked into the apartment to get her how she was walking with a switch and you know what I'm saying we and she, she the kept switch. and then as soon as he didn't do what she asked like um because in that same speech she sweet talked him about bringing up the new technology yeah. every progress day would need a celebration and as soon as he announced that oh we'll announce our project when the time is right. He looks down and the two seats were empty. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that that that's very interesting because that, like that's the thing. After his announcement, the two seats were empty. After her forward movement, she woke up and her bed and was for, empty. You know what I'm saying? Babe, so it's like, like you said, you're not on the same page even though they're playing the same game. You know what I'm saying? He's becoming a politician faster oh, than we know. Oh fuck! Yeah, that's, that's it. it. He's playing the game. That's what he's doing. I was I was I was surprised at how quick he was shaking hands though after like. I, the thing is, because of the fact that his 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 research was fueled by the fact that this research, this magic, which is basically um, when science can't explain something, this magic saved his life, saved his mother's life, saved his family name. You know what I'm saying? And so they wanted to put back into the humanity so that they could be saved. You know what I'm saying? And now he's just saving himself. You know what I'm saying? Like problems like the house of talus is going to come down because of the fact that you're prosecuting all the illegal corruption so you got to jump in bed with these people or kick them off the ship you know wow Wow. so many different aspects. so many great different storylines and right. we can't wait to tie them all together in the next one so 
thank y'all for joining us for this latest episode of Arcade. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out the full-length uncut reaction or simply support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake. For Beauty and the Beer, we are signing off until the next one. Peace. Peace.